Hey guys, Spina Dude here and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a PNSO figure. So let's have our co-host Marvin bring it out. Thank you, Marvin. All right, so today guys, we're going to be taking a look at this. It is the PNSO Nada the Little Spinosaurus. Now this is part of the range of baby dinosaur figures from PNSO Age of Dinosaurs and I'm super excited to take a closer look at this because this is one of the gifts that was sent over to me from KikiZilla101. If you guys haven't seen him make sure to go check out his channel. He's got some awesome content coming out over there including a new dinosaur series later this year called Mesozoic Isle that he's put a ton of work in over the past three years and I'm super excited to see the release of that one so make sure you guys don't miss that when it comes out. And yeah, this is one of three Spinosaurus figures he actually sent over to me for my birthday back in February. So I'm finally getting around to reviewing these and I'm super excited to start with Nada the Little Spinosaurus. So without further ado, why don't we get this one out of its packaging and take a closer look at it. All right, so if there's any young kids watching, make sure to ask your parents for assistance if you are using scissors for opening your dinosaur figure or toy. And let's uh, actually see, I'll have to cut this down the side a little bit here. Because scissors can be sharp and you do not want to hurt yourself. And actually on the back of the packaging, there's just a picture of a Spinosaurus down here and a bunch of uh, legal stuff with the logo and everything. Nothing too uh, fancy, but we've got this little booklet here and I'm interested in seeing what that actually is. And let's get Nada, the Spinosaurus, out. Throw this off to the side quickly. And here we go. Comes in its own little plastic tray. And there she is. Here is Nada, the little Spinosaurus. How adorable is this? I'm going to put this on my desk because this is just too cute. And the sculpt work is really nice here. I love the way this looks. The color scheme is a little, it's okay. It's nothing incredibly special. Just have this dark brown with the tannish underbelly or chestnut brown, not really a dark brown. And then this um, looks like a yellow dry brushing or wash on the sail there. Still pretty nice. I think it's very cute. I love the big black eyes. The teeth and the crest and the nostrils don't appear to be painted, but that's quite all right in my opinion. The black paint on the eye here is running down a little bit, um, which is too bad, but from this side, it looks fine. I also like the little ridges on the tail and the spikes going down the neck, and the limbs look nice as well. Uh, this looks to be based off of the 2014 Spinosaurus reconstruction because of the shape of the sail and everything. We have this little dip in it. Where we previously thought Spinosaurus had a half moon for the sail on its back, and it looks like the claws on the back limbs, which look slightly short. No, they actually look in proportion. They don't look like they were shortened for a theropod. Maybe a little bit. Um, but the back limbs have four digits and the front limbs have three digits each and the claws are not painted on those, but I'm fine with it. For the price I've seen these running at, they are very reasonably priced, around four or five US dollars, I believe. So there is Nada, the little Spinosaurus. Very cute, I love this. And uh, let's take a look at the booklet that came with this little figurine. Alrighty guys, so here is the booklet. It says Spinosaurus there, and it has a uh, skeleton illustration of a Spinosaurus, which looks to be the 2014 reconstruction, of course. It has the very short legs, the new design sail, the longer neck, and uh, it doesn't appear to be walking on its all fours though. Let's actually, oh, is this like, this looks to be like a poster. Wait, oh wow, look at this. Let me adjust the camera slightly there. That is, wow, that is some awesome art. I wanna see PNSO make a full sized Spinosaurus model like this. I would get that. That is just beautiful. Look at that, and it says Spinosaurus on the top there. Wow, that is so cool. Very well done. Is there anything on the back? Um, 
Spinosaurus, let's see this, Spinosaurus. And uh, you can pause the video if you wanna read that, just some facts on it there. And just some uh, facts on the artists and stuff involved with this project, involved with PNSO. Very interesting. And we have Age of Dinosaurs, toys that accompany your growth up there. And there's a whole paragraph on that. So if you wanna read any of this, you can pause it. And actually down here it shows how big a Spinosaurus was next to some people. It looks like uh, two adults and two children, and then we have a plane as well, which is kind of an odd choice, but very interesting. Yeah, I love this. So cool that they include this mini poster with it. I'd love to collect a bunch of these and frame them. It's just too bad that the creases are on there from folding it up, but still very cool. I love it. Beautiful art. Alrighty guys, so why don't we give this baby Spinosaurus a quick measure? So Marvin, why don't you bring out the Flexi Ruler? Thank you, Marvin. All right, we've got our trusty flexi ruler now, so let's give this baby Spinosaurus a measure. So in terms of the length from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail, we are looking at three inches, which is about seven centimeters. And in terms of the height at the highest point, which is the top of the head there, we are looking at about one and three quarter inches, which is about four centimeters. And for a quick comparison, I thought I'd bring out the Collecte swimming Spinosaurus figure. And you can see that these are both based off of the same reconstruction of Spinosaurus from 2014. And you can get an idea of just how tiny this PNSO baby Spinosaurus is next to the swimming Spinosaurus from Collecte because this figure is already pretty small as it is. Alrighty guys, it's time for my overall rating on this little figurine. So I think that this PNSO Age of Dinosaurs, Nada the Baby Spinosaurus, deserves three stars out of five. A good rating. I think this figure is good, and the art is awesome. Uh, it's just a shame it has all the fold marks in it, but that's a really great addition to have with this baby figurine. Uh, it's nothing epic, it's nothing legendary, I think it's good, it's very good. And I definitely think it would be cool to collect all these baby dinosaurs and have a little collection of a bunch of baby prehistoric creatures, I think that would be awesome. So thanks again KikiZilla101, really appreciate you sending this one out, this is an awesome addition to my collection, especially since I love Spinosaurus so much. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's look at the PNSO Age of Dinosaurs Nada, the Little Spinosaurus. I really like this figure. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's very cute, and I think it's okay for the price. I might look into repainting this one even to give it some more interesting colors and such. I think that might be fun. So if you guys are interested in getting this one for yourself, I recommend checking out www.everythingdinosaur.com for great service and fast shipping, or djenkins.com. So anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a comment telling me what you think of this baby Spinosaurus figure. So thank you so much guys for watching, and as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care, and bye bye